Alright, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the OKL2 T20 box mod. So I'm going to break it down pretty much. Um, I already started a little bit, so a few things might be left out, but um, I will show you the steps. I think if you don't have one of these, definitely get it. Eight bucks, Amazon.com. Um, if you guys want, I'll post a link. But you are gonna need one of these, definitely. So the first thing I did was get the box ready. Uh, it's a Hammond 1591B box. This is a ABS plastic enclosure. So I haven't got a metal one yet, but we'll get there. All right, so one of the first things you're gonna do, well, the first thing I did was drill out the holes for the switch. And I believe this is a 16 millimeter, 17. It's got a nut and everything, so as long as you drill a good enough hole, it'll slide right through, slide this bolt right on. And the top, the 510 I use, they have little cheapies, but I got the Fat Daddy Vapes mod 510 connection and it has all the little soldering points right there right there and you screw that nut on and it's on pretty good so drill a hole for that I don't know exact size but I think it's about an 8 8 to 10 so drill that out put that screw on sit it in tight alright so what you're going to need is a 1S, 6S voltage reader. Got on Amazon or uh, eBay. No, Amazon. I think it was like about three bucks shipped. So, go ahead and get that. What I did is I found a piece that actually slid onto these because they're so close together. I didn't want nothing to touch the other one and ground it out. So, what I do is slide this on. One's going to be going to the ground, and the other one is going to be going to the switch. And this is the on off on switch. So, the one to the left obviously is going to be the ground, and this one is going straight in to the switch that's going to the middle okay these this one's going to voltage in voltage out so I went ahead and soldered these already that one to the middle as you can see right there and then I have these extra wires ready to go like I said, this one's for the ground. This one's ready too. I put a little bit of solder on there. That way, when it comes time to solder them, it's pretty much everything's good to go. So the other thing we're going to be doing is connecting the potentiometer. So PT10MH01102A2020. Okay. And this is it right here. Also, make sure you get it with the little spindle. Otherwise, you're going to be asked out. And this is a little piece that goes in there. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty hard to get in there. I've seen people not put anything in there. And I guess use an Allen wrench if you don't have one. For like 19 cents. So... It's by like five. So here's the potentiometer. So the middle one, put some solder on, is going to be going to the ground. If you guys can see it, but there's actually three. Let me see. See how there's three prongs? Okay, so the first one. Is going to be the 1.43k ohm resistor. 
that's going to be this right here. Okay, that's going to be going straight to the right, to the pin on the right, which is connected. Like I said, the top one's going to be ground to the right, to the resistor, and that's going to be connected to um, number six, which is the trim on the board. So what I did is add a piece of solder to it already before I even soldered it, put a piece on the end of the resistor, and then, you know, basically soldered them together. So I cut a piece of the wire, and the one I'm using is stranded copper wire, 22 gauge, black, it doesn't matter what color. But I heard this one's the best one, so that's what I got. It was on Amazon, it was like three bucks, four bucks came in a couple days so so what we're gonna do is get this middle ground wire we're gonna go ahead and solder to that get everything nice and ready and this is gonna be the part we're doing right here the resistor to the trim so as you can see I put a little bit of solder on the end that way when I do solder it on there it pretty much sticks good and we're all done there it is connected to the middle wire going to ground actually uh, yeah ground something like this put the knob in there just give it a little push and we'll put this to the side until we need it again so now I'm gonna be hooking up the red of the reverse polarity LED indicator. 220 ohm resistor. Got our LED. LED. So I went ahead and soldered that to the negative of the LED. You can see right there. We solder. This side's gonna be going to the battery positive, the other lead. And this one's going to be going to the master on and off switch. Okay, went ahead and soldered that. As you can see both of those. It's good to go. So now we got the 10, the two 10 amp fuses in parallel. So I went ahead and stuck them together. As you can see right here. Just went ahead and soldered the, you know, pretty much them together, parallel. So I went ahead and tied this in to the fuses in parallel right there. You see, I got that wire by itself. The LED. Bam. And this one's going to go to ground right here. You get a wire, solder that to ground. And then also this is going to be tied into the master on and off switch while I hook up right now.